So just to, let's, let's make sure we step back for a minute. I think it's always important to speak English and not doctor. Todd mentioned BRCA1 and BRCA2. Now that stands for BRCA1 and 2, which are the two most common genetic mutations or changes that can lead to an increased risk for breast or ovarian or certain other cancers. We'll get into details on that later in my slides. But the most important thing to bear in mind is that BRCA1 and BRCA2 are, first of all, not the only genetic gene changes that can contribute to increased breast cancer risk. But there are also, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of other risk factors that can contribute. So we may not be doing the, the right tests for the particular genetic conditions or genetic changes that these women have, or there may be other factors that contribute relating to environmental exposures or lifestyle choices or things like that. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.